Hello everyone and welcome back to the Talman Challenge. I can't believe we are already officially in winter. I feel like the year's absolutely flown. I also feel like I say that pretty much every episode. Now I'm thinking winter might end up looking a little bit different to the other episodes because like realistically I don't really have any crops to harvest. I've yet to find all the forageables. I've just got that jelly going so hopefully that'll be done in a few days. Obviously we usually spend most of winter fishing and mining so those are the things I'd be reserving for the, I mean not off camera but like not recorded the same week so I might have to like record the entire season for this episode. It may end up longer, it may not end up longer but hey why don't we sort out this little layout first but I'm gonna need a few tools to do that. I've also tried something to see if I could get the tiles to save correctly so we'll see what happens. I don't know if it's going to work, but I can only try, and if it works, I will let you know in case you're having the same issue. Oh wait, I've got jelly in my hand, what am I talking about? <laughs> here you go, sturgeons. I feel like this time I kind of want to keep this stuff behind, so I'm going to put them in here. And then what did I need? My pickaxe. I think that's pretty much it. I also want to make some fibre seeds, I think, for the winter for now. Obviously I'm not using tea saplings, but at least then I can get the prep, like, kind of done. Though saying that, I don't think I've got enough to cover the entire thing yet. What am I missing? Oh, it's clay. Why do I think I need fibre? Of course you don't need fibre to make fibre seeds. Plus we have a load of farm stuff to clean up, like look at this mess. Ah, uh, those saved. Okay, so sometimes the tiles are saving and sometimes they're not. I wonder if it's like different locations are not working because the ones on the farm seem okay. Alright, so it's looking like I only need like two more sprinklers to fill this place out. We've still got a little row down here, so perhaps I use these for that. I've got two basic and two quality sprinklers on the list. I don't see us getting iridium ones by the end of the season. <laughs> I don't think it really matters too much on here either. I mean, maybe we will, because we won't need as many. But I also, I'm not sure I'm going to be able to get into Skull Cabin, so there's also that. I can finally move the Scarecrows as well, so I'm thinking, how do I want to have them? I mean, I want them, like, not going over any tilled spots, so if I move that. I'm thinking I have, like, all of them just at, like, the borders where I can't till. I just had a thought that I can't remember if I went and collected all the hay either, so I'm kind of worried about that, and I just went all the way back to my chest grabbed some tools and forgot the rare crew so that's perfectly me to be honest. My snowman's a little hidden but that's fine at least it's there. So this entire area is now covered I don't have to worry about it anymore. And I guess I'm just thinking about how to best utilize the rest of the space on the farm because like obviously the beach farm you've got loads of space and like realistically unless you want to spend your entire life watering you only really got this crop space but I also know that a lot of people utilize sheds and the garden pots with Deluxe retaining soil, I think it is, but obviously, until I complete the community center and stuff, I'm a long way off even thinking about that. Plus, I haven't even got the greenhouse, I don't think. Actually, where are we? Oh, it's the brewer's bundle, I think we're just missing now. And we are part way to through. Wait, why haven't I done this yet? I'm gonna have to look in the chest in a minute. I'll finish off just doing the sprinklers today, though. I think that can just be today's job. I also have an expectation that a lot of the tiles that I'm gonna be spending on this season are gonna be on the farm. Maybe some in the mines here and there, depending on if they keep resetting. I have realised I've tilled a bit too many tiles over here, but that's fine. Um, let's start off with however many fibre seeds we can make. I mean, 76 is not going to cover the entire thing, but at least it's a start. Ah, we have the pale ale. Um, let me go check the chest then. Oh, we already have another pale ale. Um, actually, we've got everything we need, so I wonder if I just go get that unlocked now, because we can then have more planting space, and we can do some in winter, which is going to be nice, but I don't have many seeds. I did just want to check the mushroom cave before I go, though. I was hoping for purple, but we'll just have to keep trying. We can just hope that they come up at some point. I've got quite a few other things actually that I can bring to the community center with me. So I'm going to do that along with this crocus I just got. Now, if we could get a snow yam on the way up there, I think that'll be kind of clutch, but I don't see it happening. It looks like some of the tiles have saved in here this time. So maybe I do just deal with having to buy them twice when I do the fishing weeks because it seems to only have an issue when I keep on like taking the files back and forward. I didn't do it last week and it's fine. Mind you, I haven't been in the mine yet, so I don't know if I'm going to have any issue there. What have we got? We have a heater. I almost donated the wine to the Enchanters bundle. That would have very much upset me. And now let's get this room finished. So uh, I think I'm going to do what I said last time and buy it after I finish the bundle. So let's pop all of those things in. I know I've got more than enough. It's a very small room. Oh, we've got another keg. I completely forget what you get in these rewards sometimes. I mean, some things I do remember, but there's like a lot that I really do just forget until the last second. There's our pantry and actually I think we've got less tiles technically than beforehand, so I don't really know. I mean, I'm going to still buy as many as I can. There we go. Just these two in the corner, but I guess I can just buy these instead. There we go. I think maybe soon it'll be time to get the house upgrade. Because even that I can fill out the entire house with garden pots. But I will still have to water them. So maybe watering can upgrade, so adding to my list. 
uh, watering can upgrade, house upgrade. Thank you to the comments who reminded me about this mod. I completely forget that I have it installed a lot of the time. I need a list to make a list. <laughs> and I don't already have a heater in here, so it's a good thing I just got one for free. Definitely also need more mayo machines at this rate as well. Oh no, I forgot to donate the crocus. Oh well. <laughs> oh, I haven't donated anything. I would have thought I would have got things like the winter root and the crystal fruit by now, but I guess maybe that's because I've not really spent enough time in the mines to get the monsters to drop the things. Okay. Well, now we know, I guess. Ah, there's the greenhouse. I'm going to have to buy my way over there, though. Hopefully I don't have to buy the tiles inside. A bit like the coop where we didn't have to either. Marnie's now selling the auto grabber? Doesn't that only usually happen when you've got a deluxe building? I mean, either way, I, uh, I'll probably do one at some point. I don't know if I'm going to get around to it this season, though. Willie wants us to catch a squid. We'll probably be able to do that. How long has this got? 22 hours. Okay, I will wait to refill the kegs then. Ooh, dig spot. Please give me forage or not. Something I can sell, I guess? Okay. <laughs> Very pleased to see I have more than enough copper to get my watering can upgraded, so we'll do that today. And uh, is this a second dino egg? I can't remember. Uh, I can donate that. We might as well go to the museum because I do need to go to Clint anyway. So this is a dinosaur egg, so we will go donate the one we've got. Oh no, I didn't for- I, uh, I'm so disappointed in myself that I couldn't get the words out. I forgot to scythe all the grass before the season ended and now I have no hay and I'm gonna have to buy hay and it's stupidly expensive. Um, okay. So my question is, first of all, what farming level am I? I'm farming level 10. Don't we usually get a seed maker as one of the rewards for the community center or is that for a different bundle? Or maybe that's for something else I haven't done yet. Maybe I just have to make a seed maker. So what do I need for that? It's like gold and some other stuff. Coal and wood. Going on a huge tangent about coal and wood. I don't think I have enough coal. I have to check at the mines because my next question is, do I have any wheat? I have 14. Okay, here's what we're going to do. We're going to turn all of that into seeds, then grow some wheat because wheat drops hay. <laughs> Although, do I have hay in here? No. Thought I would have kept it somewhere if I had any. I'm, I could have sworn I saw some. Maybe I forgot. No, I put it all in the silo, didn't I? Well, that's mildly annoying. <laughs> Ooh, shadow guy. I'm skipping the cutscene. We all know what this looks like. I'm definitely going to have to go and collect the magnifying glass, though. Not that I can access every single spot that we need, but it's fine. Eventually we will. Oh, I have to buy these ones again. So these ones didn't save. Good morning, Clint. Can you take my watering can for me, please? Now I'm leaving watering can upgrade on the list because I kind of want to get it most of the way upgraded this season to make my life a bit easier in spring because I don't want to just limit myself to that area of crops. I don't mind doing a little bit of watering every day, just not too much. Ah, the ones to the minecarts didn't save. It's strange how only some of them work. I don't know. Right, there's our seed maker. I can only make one, but that's okay. Well, I can make more, but I don't want to. Oh, I forgot to go to the museum. Oh, no. Donation time. Oh my god, new reward already. Times two. Wait, what? This is going better than I thought. One of them's a rare crow as well, and I kind of want that. Skeleton, not so much. Almost forgot to check the special request as well, so it's a good thing I walked past. Um, Bone frags or perch? Have I done this yet? Wait, farm computer, right? A recipe I do not have. Okay, we're going to go with the perch one. So it does mean we're going to fish this week, but like I said, winter's probably going to look a little bit different because that's kind of what most people do for the entire season anyway, and I can't. I mean, I could. But I don't want to make this an entire, like, fishing, mining, and nothing else season, so um, we're probably going to scatter it a little bit more. Oh, let's go get the magnifying glass as well while we're out. Can I reach the bush from here? Nope, it's the wrong bush. <laughs> it's this bush. Hello there. I'm holding some glasses, but you're going to give me a not broken one that can see a little bit more. Thank you for the magnifying glass. Guess I can just slap the skeleton over here for now. I'm also going to finally ship one of these gold bars, I think, just to like have a little bit of extra cash. And why am I carrying all these eggs? I also need to ship an oak resin and a maple syrup. And then I'm thinking for the greenhouse for now, since obviously I'm going to utilize that space a little bit better at the moment. Any sprinklers that like aren't occupied out here, I'm going to pick up. I'm going to remove this for the list. Or the list, I mean from the list. It really doesn't matter. Anyway, I'm removing them. I'm putting them in the greenhouse. Because then I can grow the wheat in there for the hay. This is not the greenhouse. That was the mushroom game. Let's try that again. Oh, we have to buy them all. That's so annoying. All right. Well, <laughs> it is what it is. Now I'm going to try and multitask a little here. Let's get the seed maker going. And I guess I'll just stick with the closest one for now. Ooh, and actually maybe I can get the ancient fruit started in here as well. So let me go grab that. I'm hoping I've got some deluxe speed grow somewhere. Not that it matters. I mean, like putting it down now is better than not at all. If I wait until I can get deluxe speed grow, then I might as well have just like planted it in case it takes longer than the time would speed it up. 
Let's have a look. They have an ancient fruit, that's quite a lot. Do I just ship one to have it shipped? I think that's actually a silly idea. Oh, old master cannoli. Old master cannoli. Old master cannoli. I couldn't. <laughs> Words are hard. I was doing something else. What was I doing? I was here for something that wasn't this. Oh, speed grow. I've only got regular speed grow. That's not really what I want. I could make some with oak resin and coral though. So maybe we do a couple of batches of that just to have it. I've only got one coral. Okay, five it is. <laughs> I mean, five is still more than none. Now, as for the rest of these sprinklers, I think what I'm going to do is place the basic ones as if they were quality ones. Obviously, you're only going to plant on the tiles that are actually going to be watered, just because then it's going to make things easier to upgrade later on. At the end of the day, it's a start. All right, in a few days, there will be wheat and hopefully hay. What the heck? Flying squid, hello? What was that? Has anyone seen that before? <laughs> At least we made some of our tile money back with all the random stuff we sold. <laughs> Hey, what's going on today? We've got Linus's birthday. We've got some juice that I can sell for shipping. Wow, it's a thousand gold. Do I want to make more pumpkin juice, but then wine's better, right? We'll keep the pumpkins as pickles. We'll go with the melon wine. It's just because it's quicker. Now, what have we got for Linus? I don't know if we've got anything decent for him. Could just look it up. I'm pretty sure I've got look up anything installed. I do. Dish of the sea. Oh, he loves yams. I've got yams. They're not of any quality, but I think he'll enjoy it in any shape or form. Now I could have sworn I shipped one of the sweet gem berries last week, maybe I thought I did and then for some reason I just didn't put it in the shipping bin, I don't know. Now Linus should be at home. Hello there Linus, Um, let's go ahead and buy out the tiles in here. There we go and happy birthday. You don't know me well enough to trust me? Well I'm in your tent and I've just given you like the best birthday gift ever, is that not enough? Probably because he thinks I've got his blackberry basket still. Alright, let's go to the secret woods. I don't think I've actually been there at all yet. My tile buying is very messy today. You can't see behind my face, but I'm just gonna break the log. There it is. Let's go. The holly's in here, we need that. Now it'd be nice to buy a little path to all the logs, but I don't know if they're gonna stay, so um, we're just gonna have to hope for the best here. I mean the stumps, not the logs, they're stumps. There are way too many slimes today. What is going on? I just want to get this one little idiot I was going to say out of my way, but I guess it's learnt its lesson. Um, okay, here's a snack. <laughs> Let's get that star drop. Another one down. That's like three now, right? No, two still. I don't think I've gone to floor 100 yet. Very much love the taste of the struggle. Now, whilst I'm here, maybe I just go catch the wood skip. I know I can't catch the perch here, but I just thought like, why not, you know? Now, obviously, this weapon was a huge upgrade to my last one, but I think that's going to say a lot because it's still kind of a terrible weapon. I mean, it's not, but it's terrible for like this stage in the game, I feel like. Um, also gonna buy for these two dig spots here. Not only we don't need the winter root- Oh no, I could put it in the seed maker, actually. I might do that. But I very much need the clay. Wood skip first time? I feel like- Is it just me or is that a very well behaved wood skip? That was weird. <laughs> now I just want to complete the circuit in here. At least we can make a start on the hardwood. I mean, hey, I feel like these tiles also show me properly for the first time as well where the path out here was because I never really knew. I just kind of like- walk and hope for the best, but now I know where the towers are that you can actually walk through. Now, I think I can catch the perch here, so maybe I do that. We've only got a choice of two fish though. Are we gonna be okay? I think so. Pikes are so annoying though, aren't they? I think I'm gonna get annoyed. Maybe I go up to the mountain lake. Although if I do that, I need to check what time of day I can catch them. Because if it's gonna go away like in a few hours, there's not really any point in me moving. This looks like one though. It's not acting like a pike. There it is. Okay. So just to check, I do in fact need 10 of them, so we'll hang out. Hopefully they're a lot more likely than the pike. To be fair, that was a really easy pike, and even if I catch them, I think they're worth a good amount of money. Now I have just looked up and found out that the perch are actually all day, so I probably could have moved to the mountain lake, but it's a bit late now. Actually, then I'd have to contend with the sturgeon, and I don't want to do that. I've already got enough of those on the farm. Ooh, midnight carp! Got another one to spare now. I think I've only got one hanging around. And surprisingly, I still haven't finished this quest yet because I accidentally went AFK for a couple of in-game hours, so I probably would have done it by now, but if we don't finish it today, we're gonna get close. Although, saying that, I've just caught two midnight carp in a row, so I'm wondering if I just... Oh, I missed one. I wonder if I just do it again in the morning. Oh, I've only got one more. No, we're, we're doing this. We're doing this. Please be the one. Damn it. <laughs> I swear, if I pass out with one fish left, I'm, I can't really let myself pass out. I mean, this can't be it. I really just need one more, please. <laughs> no, I just mistook the sleeping thing as a fish. Oh my goodness. Please. This isn't it either. There's no way. There's no way. All right, well, I tried. <laughs> we'll just catch the last one tomorrow, as infuriating as that is. I don't want to pass out over it. So let's hope I can make it to bed in time. And worried if I'm going to make it to bed on time? Um, we can only try, right? Please, please. Oh no, 
This slime, can it not? No, I'm gonna make it to the door. That's so annoying. I just said I didn't want to pass out. Oh man. Okay, well, <laughs> I forgot how long it takes to walk from all the way down there to the top of the farm. At least we didn't lose money. We made more than a grand. Okay, a couple watering cans ready, although I don't think I've got any iron for it. I'm gonna go ahead and get some stuff shipped. There's a lot of this I don't really need to keep hold of. We'll save this for the community center. That's two out of four now. Yeah, I've only got three out of five iron bars, so maybe I might be able to do it if I go up to the mines and sort that today. But it is a bad luck day, so maybe not. <gasps> and purple mushroom! Oh my god, finally. We just need one more now. We do still need a few more white algae. I can catch them at the mines, right? Yes, and I can also get them from a slaying bugs, but I think probably fishing for them in the mines is going to be our best bet. There is our last perch, finally. <laughs> finally. Oh my god, 820 gold. That's such a small amount of money. I thought it was going to be like way more. Maybe the biome balance one would have been more. Or if it was a different fish. Probably if it was a different fish, right? Either way, it's done. Whatever. <laughs> okay, let's just do this floor, I'm thinking. So saying that, wouldn't the algae usually be visible in the water? Then I can't see any trash either. Let me go check all the other floors. Like, can I see the algae in here? No. Okay, let me just go to 20 then. I know I didn't buy the treasure chest there, but I, I would have to buy all the tiles to do that. I don't really want to do that right now. I suppose I can just handle the fish whilst I'm here as well. Ooh, treasure! Got ourselves a ghost fish and what do we get? We got bait and a geode. I'll take it. Now I'm thinking for the algae, I probably need to yep cast close so I've got less chance of getting like the stonefish and well anything good really. Just need one more. There we go. That worked out really well actually. Maybe we don't listen to the luck then and go and get some iron? And yeah, we don't have these tiles again. What is going on with that? Having a little look around, I think this is just something in the mod that would need to be fixed and I don't think it will be. It's not been updated for a couple of years, so I think we're just going to have to understand that the towers, especially in the mines, are going to keep resetting. <laughs> does, however, mean that perhaps I'm going to just have to rethink how I play a lot of these things here. But let's read this secret No, It's stuff about trash counts. We know all about the trash, but I guess at least knowing that then we'll just keep dealing with it because it seems to be that I get an error every time I go to save every night and it's definitely an error with the Talman mod. It sounds like it's missing referenced objects or something but I also don't have a huge amount of knowledge when it comes to like you know modding and coding and all that so I can only do my best to interpret stuff and I have done a little search online. There are reports even on the mod page of I was resetting in fact it's actually posted as a bug but like I said it looks like the mod's not being updated so we're just gonna have to deal with it. As a side note I kind of do want to learn how to kind of like interpret and maybe edit some of the code because not only would it be cool to oh I'm on the wrong floor not only would it be cool to like maybe add little things that could be fun as mods, I mean I'm not saying I'm gonna go and essentially develop an entire mod but it'd be nice to like be able to do that if I were to have the idea, not like a whole thing, just like really little things. And it would also be nice to be able to figure out fixes for things like this. I think it's one of those things that if I actually sit down and took the time I could probably figure it out, but probably not anytime soon anyway. Right, I've just hung around long enough to use up all of my energy pretty much, so I think when I come out of this particular reset, I'm going to call it a day. I'm going to hang around until these bars are finished though. Um, let's make sure we leave the coal here, apart from the ones we want to smelt with. Iron acquired. Tomorrow we'll get another watering can. I probably will have a lot of early nights this season as well. Just because I don't want to use my energy on all of this, you know. Kind of forgot to stick around to see how much we got from the fish, but that's fine. There's our farm computer recipe, that's another one off the list. Well, added to the list, I haven't crafted it yet. Right then, traveling cart, have you got anything that I can use right now? I don't think so. I can't even remember what I've got left. So one purple mushroom, crystal fruit and snow yam, sea urchin. Oh, I can probably go get that. Have I fixed the beach bridge yet? I don't know if I have. I should probably do that this season. Radium bar, that's gonna hurt. Rabbit's foot, all of the chef stuff. Now thinking about it, I think I vaguely remember leaving behind a fiddlehead fern at the traveling cart. Kind of annoyed I did that now because I still need one. I could also be misremembering and mixing it up with another playthrough though. That is always a possibility. Kind of something I hope, actually. Let's hope I haven't actually forgot. Maybe I didn't even know I had the bundle yet, if I didn't have the bulletin board, but I don't know. I can't remember. I'm also going to pick up this chest. I don't really need it here anymore. Good morning, Clint. Can I please have the watering can back? Well, literally just for a minute, because I'm going to ask you to take it back again. I also noticed Evelyn hasn't come to my door yet about the garden pot recipe. 
I'm wondering if she only does that in, well, not winter. Not that I'm that fussed about making them yet, it just like feels weird that she hasn't come yet. But anyway, let's um just probably spend today chopping down a load of trees. Gonna need them for the house upgrade and the beach bridge, so uh, what is it, like 450 wood and then 300, so I need 750 wood. Oh, foraging level up. We got level six. I've, I've obviously like been just chipping away at it through the day. 500 wood. I'm going to use the entire day just to chop wood. I think that'll be actually... I'm hoping Robin doesn't finish at five. I'm, I mean, not five. I mean four. I'm hoping maybe I can make it up there before she closes. We'll get the upgrade in and then we'll carry on chopping. I do have a fiend. Yeah, I, I've just seen her disappear off the bottom of my screen. Okay, never mind. Right, I think I have got enough wood. I've just put everything away. I keep seeing these squids appear up here. I don't know what to do with them. I've tried smacking it with my weapon and nothing happens. So I don't know, unless it's trying to tell me something. Look, look, what do I do? What does it mean? Is it just there to taunt me? But anyway, wood wise, we have almost a stack now, so I have more than enough. And let's get to bed before you lose any energy for the next day. Oh, we finally unlocked the lightning rod. Ooh, I can't even craft winter seeds anyway. I don't even have the recipe. <laughs> oh no. Oh, there's Evelyn, finally. I mean, I'm still gonna I'm still gonna skip the cutscene, I just kind of wanted it. Now, what happens if I put it indoors? Wait, if I walk outside, there's snow on the pot. If I go inside, there's no snow. I love that detail. <laughs> Alright, what's in the mail? We have a request to give Emily an amethyst. I hate this one. I actually hate it. Another day, another lack of purple mushroom. We still have one left. I'm thinking, or hoping, that we might be done today. I've deliberately not gone into the coop because I don't have any food. And therefore, I know that there are not the amount of eggs I'm going to be hoping for in there. Now, I don't think this is going to give me... Oh, it's not even done yet. Okay, we've got another another day to wait. <laughs> I forgot about the fact that I didn't water it, so it's going to take literally an extra day. So, tomorrow. Tomorrow it is. Sorry, animals. No feed for you yet. I could go buy some, but there's so much money I need to spend this season, and I'm not making any from crops. So I don't know. I'm reluctant. Uh, I should, though. But hay's really expensive. <laughs> I mean, it's my own fault. I forgot to scythe the grass. It's fine, they'll just be mad. I feel bad, but okay. House upgrade on the way. Please be a snow yam. Okay, I mean, it's a new artifact. I guess that's fine. Never know, the beach might help us out. Now, obviously, this is mostly because I can't and I don't have the tiles, but I won't be using winter telling as a strat. First of all, I suck at it, and second of all, like, I think I would find it mind numbing. <laughs> Ooh, what's going on down here? Oh, it's the juicy bugs thing. Let's skip that nasty cutscene. We've seen this like a million times and um, do I want to buy that spot? Yeah. Come on. Oh, not the book. We will buy that one over there though as well. I mean, it's on the way to the beach bridge anyway. <laughs> Snow yam. Oh, I didn't mean to kill the ground. <laughs> I meant to just walk through and get to the bridge. Can I? There we go. Took us all year, but we got it fixed up in the end. Now, before I go over there, I can in fact see that there is a sea urchin, so we will go for it. Give me that's the urchin. Okay, another thing off the list. I'm not going for the rest of the coral yet because, like, I don't think it's worth the money. <laughs> It'll be interesting to see if these spots reset down there as well. <gasps> Panay spot. Should we go for it? Ask it as if I haven't already decided. Iridium ore. That could not have gone any better. I mean, it could have. I could have got the lucky ring. But I didn't even, like, think of the fact that I could get iridium that way. I've kind of been slacking on the panning spots. So I'm going to have to, like, really keep my eye out. I mean, we already know. I kind of forgot about it anyway in general. But it's just, like, the thought of having to buy the tiles to be able to pan and potentially not even get something that's worth it. I should probably get it smelting, actually. That's another bundle we could complete. Wait. Oh, hang on a minute. Yes, because... I just got one thing for the dye bundle, another thing smelting. It might technically be possible if the traveling heart comes through with three of the items we need this season. I mean, it's unlikely, but like we can hope. We might actually finish the community center this year. I'm just, I'm speaking it into existence, okay? <laughs> I know how unlikely that is. So now all we need is a crystal fruit. It certainly would be nice to grow some forage. Perhaps I go and turn that into seeds now. Although, do I do it at the start of the new week? Maybe I should go specifically look for the crystal fruit. I'll go check the forest, I think. It is a good luck day, though. I feel like I'm wasting it. Well, I don't feel like I'm wasting it. I know I'm wasting it. All right, what ore do we need the most of at the moment? We need gold and we need iron. Probably more gold than anything, actually. Let's see how much we can get today. Shall I maybe go in for another loot chest? We'll do one. Why not? I feel like at least once per episode I have to make a slightly unhinged decision somewhere along the line. I mean, I know the tiles are going to reset after, but at least I know I've done them before collecting the loot. Uh, what's inside this? <laughs> I quite simply don't want to talk about it. <laughs> uh, 
Okay, we're just gonna move on and pretend none of that even happened. <laughs> I can't believe that! I don't know how much gold I'm gonna be able to manage to get because I'm not exactly well geared up for like the hotter floors. The enemies down here are a fair amount stronger and I am stuck in the wall. <laughs> Only takes a second to get myself unstuck, sorted. Oh, wait, is this a mushroom floor? No, right? Because I feel like the, uh, oh, nope. I'm just going to forget I said anything and try and get out of here. Oh my God. Oh my God. Oh my God. Please let me out. <laughs> Never mind. I think the lanterns have to be not red. I think they're meant to be blue and green for a mushroom floor. Don't think I missed out on one. I mean, that's what I'm going to tell myself. I mean, we've used up most of the day anyway. It just felt wrong on a bad luck, uh, good luck day to not be here. But the reason I might still do this as like an entire season is because there are still going to be days like this where I do still need to mine, even on a not mining day. We are not watching this cutscene. Before I go home, I kind of want to wait. Wait, did I get the Iridium bar? Oh, I did. Okay, that's what I wanted to wait for. Always nice coming home after a very expensive tile day to some pickled pumpkins. Now I'm still going back and forth on how I want to format this entire season, but maybe it'll end up being three weeks of mining and fishing. Because like I said at the beginning, that is what the entire season kind of is for most of us. Plus, like, I tend to voice them over anyway. It's not like you miss out on anything important. <laughs> okay, let's get some sleep. Right, let's grab our Queen of Source. I'm not sure if we're going to make Caroline's birthday today. It looks like we'll be starting a fishing week with the Festival of Ice. It's kind of fitting. I think I'm going to take that as a sign. Ooh, we got all the oak resin today as well. Grab all of that. And I'm going to the traveling cart. I'm carrying all of my community center donations that I want to drop off today in the hopes that maybe perhaps it might mean that she's carrying something else we need to donate and I've like got it all with me anyway so I can just go donate it. <laughs> I know that sounds silly. I'm aware of how silly it sounds but it works in my head and it didn't work in real life. Okay whilst we're here I will check the secret woods. I can't remember if I can get it here but I'm hoping I can find the crystal fruit. If not I'll just do a lap of cinder sap and I maybe I can't. <gasps> Panic spot. Give me that. I'll take another, essentially, a gold bar and some free coal. And of course, I'm doing my lap whilst uh, zoomed all the way out so I can see any forage that I might miss. The reason I'm not doing the screenshot is because even if there was forage in some places, I might still miss it. <laughs> I might as well just walk around. At least I could take a minute to process it a bit better in my head. That probably sounds really silly, but it worked for me, all right? I'm, uh, different, <laughs> for lack of a better word. <laughs> there is not a single crystal fruit, though, so we're not getting that today. I haven't been to the bus stop yet though, maybe over there. I'm trying to think where else they can spawn. They can spawn up by the mountain, right? I don't remember. I feel like I never really think about the natural spawn of uh, winter forage. Well, I mean, the only place I haven't tried is the mountain area, like near Robin and the lake and stuff. But um, the rest of my foraging today has been pretty fruitless, I would say. I'm so sorry. <laughs> All right, let's just start with a win. Let's just get the dye bundle done. And uh, oh that's where the seed maker comes from okay well now we have two and then i've not got anything to like complete any bundles around here but at least i can just like drop some of this stuff off literally just need the crystal fruit and one purple mushroom to finish the entire craft room now we just go over there i don't really want to buy the tiles though <gasps> caroline do you like anything i've got i've got neutral gifts I just go in neutral. Actually, why don't I just go to the saloon and buy something? Actually, no, I'm risking not doing it on time, so I'm just going to give her the blackberry. Wait, did that go down? I thought it was neutral. I thought neutral would have, like, increased friendship points, not decreased them. Nothing I can do about that now. Now, I haven't got a gift for Haley, but I'm going to still say hello. No, don't go to your room. Don't go to your room. Hello. Will you say hi to Alex for me? Oh, um, no. No, but, uh, okay. Well, that went well. <laughs> yeah, I know you'll appreciate a blackberry, Leah. Do I ever take a whole day off? That is a foreign concept to me. <laughs> Alright, I've got one last ditch attempt at forage up here. Please, I just really need the fruit. I really need it. And I guess our last attempt would be... It would be at the railroad, but I want to buy the tiles. I might as well. If there's a crystal fruit sitting up there waiting for me, I'm going to regret not having been here. There isn't. So let's get out of here. We tried. I mean, maybe I'll be lucky enough in my fishing and mining weeks to come across one, well, in the mining weeks, with the monsters in the mines, because some of them can drop a crystal fruit. I have a couple of small little orders of business before we head to bed today, both of which are in the greenhouse. So first of all, we'll plop our seed maker down and we'll get both of the winter root in here. And then let's grab all of our wheat, some of which is going to give us some hay. We've only got enough to feed the animals for like a day, but at least I can kind of keep turning these back into seeds. 
And it really is going to have to be a greenhouse full of wheat as well, because um, otherwise I'm just going to have to spend so much money on hay. I mean, I'm going to have to buy some anyway, but I want to at least like reduce the cost a little bit. I think I'm just going to plant these winter forage in here as well for now, because I don't see myself making it all the way outside today, even though it's already 9pm. I am kind of surprised I've actually gone ahead and filled out all of these sprinklers. Like, I've only got one more here, it's going to give me at least enough wheat seeds. There's only one spot left. And perfect. Okay, that's satisfying. We filled out every single sprinkler spot, like, exactly. All right, let's head to bed. I feel like that was a successful first week of winter. So let's see how much money we made for this last day. I don't think it'll be very much. It's still something. Forgot to feed the animals. I'll do that next game day. And um, yeah, let's get through the rest of the season with some mining and some fishing, mainly. Other than special requests, those I'll also have to do. But let's see what happens. Okay, we are starting this new week with a new arrival to the coop. The baby dino attached. I was looking for a name that was something like a shade of green, and I thought moss would be cute, so we're going with that. Still got to sort out the food in here though. I actually went to the Festival of Ice, it's really nice to be able to afford some of these festivals now. I even pre-bought some tiles in the middle to make a path to the hole I usually use, because everyone else already has enough of a head start as it is. Two things ended up swaying the result though. The first is me missing a fish, then I really thought I was going to redeem myself at the end with a last minute catch, but the time ended up running out so upsettingly close to getting it. Willie won this time. We'll get him next year. My new house was finished the next morning, so obviously the first thing I had to do was rearrange it. Then it was a day in the mines for ore and coal thanks to the good luck. Like I said in a previous episode, I'm not going to show account for how much ore I get because I end up smelting as I go along and I use the bars too. And any looty bits I'll show in the loot review. But I will tell you I hit level 7 mining today. It wasn't till Wednesday that I remembered to go check the special order board. We're going with the ectoplasm one because it's going to suit our need for the time in the mines. But because of the bad luck today, I ended up fishing instead. The luck was still bad the next day, but I figured I should probably at least try to handle the special request. Just in case I struggled to get the ectoplasm to drop. Except this time, I actually got it on my first try. I had to buy my way back through the inside of the wizard's tower to hand it in. But that's fine because the reward more than covers the cost of the tiles. I did a foraging loop of the forest whilst I was down there and I finally found the crystal fruit. Again we got the wizard to thank for the gold because I did need to buy quite a few tiles to get there, and I thought whilst I was at it why not collect Robin's axe as well. I just bought some hay from Marnie in the end. I was getting kind of lazy with the wheat and I knew it wouldn't give me enough hay anyway. Then I ran one of the crystal fruits up to the community centre to complete the winter foraging bundle. I usually wait for the next gameplay week to complete the bundles, but obviously we're finishing out the entire season and therefore the year, so I wanted to be able to keep the progress up and actually be able to use the seeds. Friday the 12th I got another thousand gold from the wizard for bringing him a void essence he asked for. Then I returned Robin's axe to her and brought Demetrius an earth crystal he requested from the bulletin board. This meant I ended up getting a pretty late start to the mining, but I still got quite a bit of ore this day. The funny part here though was getting another wooden mallet from a dust sprite this time. I feel like I'm just being mocked at this point. My sturgeons asked for some omni for breakfast the following morning. I was planning to fish, but the greenhouse ended up distracting me. Kind of annoying that I had to rebuy the tiles here, but I took the entire day upgrading the sprinklers and making more wheat seeds to fill out all the spots here. I did also plant those pumpkin seeds we got from the museum, just because they're obviously a bit more valuable than the wheat, but by the end of the day we got the entire place filled out. The 14th I fished at the ocean looking for the new winter fish, but mainly waiting around for the squid to give to Willy. Then the 15th was a good luck day mostly spent in the mines. But not the whole day though, because this is the first day of the night market, which meant I couldn't forget to pick up a special request either. I went with the fragments of the path one because I mostly don't tend to fish at the ocean unless I have to. I gave Emily the amethyst from Clint right in front of me so he could witness me taking the credit, but I left after that because I didn't really see anything I wanted today. Plus, I wanted to get started on that skeleton quest because I knew it was going to take ages. That's pretty much all I did for the daytimes of the next few days, but I still remembered to go to the night market. On the Tuesday evening, I grabbed my free coffee and then I felt I should try for the submarine fish because I often have a lot of trouble getting the blobfish to show up, so I wanted to give myself an extra day's chance. Funnily enough, it was actually the spook fish that showed up last for me, but I got them all to show up and I ended up staying pretty late, but left with just enough time not to have to pass out there. The final purple mushroom I need showed up on the 17th, but on another note, I think the wizard is resetting the tiles in his home because he really doesn't want visitors, but that didn't stop me pushing through to give him a birthday gift. Then it was straight to the community centre from there to finally complete the wild medicine bundle and therefore the entire crafts room. I was never going to wait for spring to finish this, but I probably should have waited to buy the tiles for when I was back at this PC, just because they might not carry over. But it's fine, we know we've done it. Again, I had another day of gathering bone fragments, with a quick break to go to the night market where I bought a fried egg from the travelling boat. 
I could have made it myself, but I feel like it's kind of a reflex to buy things for the community center from the merchant, so um, yeah, we have it now. <laughs> Back in the mines it also took me quite a while to remember to swap to my new bone sword that I just got. Hopefully it will speed things along a bit. It was nice to see the quarry bridge get fixed that night but I probably won't be going there at least for a while because I'm gonna have to buy all the tiles over there. It took one more full day to get the rest of the bone frags I needed. Then whilst waiting for the museum to open the next day, I checked the travelling cart to find a duck egg for sale. I don't have the animal bundle but incubating this egg is cheaper than buying a duck from Marnie's. Gunther insisted that I actually buy the tiles to drop off the bone fragments in the box. But again, that's fine, the reward is worth it. I can't believe I'm saying this, but I actually needed a break from the mines after all that. So I made a couple of trap bobbers and lunched on a dish of the sea because today I was going to take on the glacier fish. It showed up on the first cast, but a treasure chest threw me off and I ended up losing it, pretty quickly as well. Thankfully, it wasn't long until it appeared again, and I got it this time. Then I thought I might as well stick around here to fish instead of wasting time running all the way up to the lake. The 20th I was back in the mines for another great luck day, then on the 21st I realised I forgot to harvest the forage that's been ready here for a few days. I'm still not at a foraging level that will allow me to craft the winter seeds, so I had to put all my winter roots in a seed maker. I only got 26 seeds so I replanted less than I harvested unfortunately, though I managed to fill out a fair amount more space with some fibre seeds. After that I just about made it to Willy's in time to stock up on more bait before he closes for the day, so I could squeeze in a little bit of fishing for the evening. I went straight to the special request board to start off our final week of the season. I probably wasn't going to fish at the river, so I went with Robin's hardwood quest and brought my axe straight to the secret woods to get started. I did have to rebuy the tiles there too though. I already have more than 80 hardwood at home in a chest, so I brought the 80 up to Robin's donation box, so now I only have to worry about the gathering. That was just a stop off on my way up to the mountain lake to fish for the day. The 23rd was much of the same really, but then it dawned on me on the 24th that I still haven't prepared the farm for spring, so I began Operation Cleanup and bought some path recipes from Robin. Adding paths is one of my favourite winter activities and I wasn't going to miss out this time either. For the farm layout what I'll do is I'll leave a screenshot at the end of the video to show you how it all turned out. The 25th, as we all know, is the Feast of the Winter Star. Not sure what's up with the random unlocked tiles here, but I did have to buy quite a few to make it down to my secret friend Shane and hand over a hot pepper. Pierre was my gift giver, kind of weird because I think I also just had him in the Raffidac streams, but he actually did way better for this farmer and came through with 10 deluxe speed grow. That's huge, I really needed that. Rather than go straight to bed after the festival, I made sure to get my daily hardwood, and as I was heading back through the farm, I realised I'd been walking past all of these stumps just to get to the secret woods every single day. <laughs> I got a foraging level here, but I left the rest for tonight so that I don't pass out. The ancient fruit started to pop up in the greenhouse on the 26th, the seeds from those went where the pumpkins were, and all of those could get deluxe speed grow. Clearing out all the stumps on the farm gave me a good boost towards finishing Robin's quest. Not quite enough, but the secret wood stumps helped me over the finish line. That mostly paid for the battery I bought on the way in here. The next few days are pretty much just me getting the farm layout ready, but I did spend Saturday evening in the mines, mostly for stone because I've just used all of it on paths. And then on Sunday I harvested a final batch of winter forage, but this time I could actually craft the seeds thanks to that foraging level from the other day. With help of forage from my chest, I could make enough seeds to cover all of the sprinklers so that I don't have to till or water on the first of spring. Speaking of watering, I should probably go pick up my watering can. The poor thing's been stuck with Clint for weeks. I promised it I won't do that again, don't worry. I handed in my pickaxe for upgrade right after. Definitely won't be leaving that longer than necessary. I added some final touches like some grass starters ready to spread for spring, including some under the fences so that those can never be eaten. But now, I think we're ready for that fish and loot review. I've got things set up a bit differently here because we've got more than two chests worth of stuff. We obviously didn't really fish a whole lot, but we still got 211 fish, one of which was that legendary glacier fish. The most noteworthy finds though are the sheer amount of weapons. I obviously can't ship these so I brought them up to Marlon to sell. With this amount of stuff it's worth me rebuying the tiles. I got 2715 gold for all of those, including a couple of bits I'd saved from those earlier mine trips. Most of the rest of the stuff went into the shipping bin, but before going to bed I had one more order of business. I wanted to bring Gus the albacore whilst it was still fresh. Probably cost more than the gold he gave me to get over to him though, but anyway, let's have a look at our total. Another 44 grand should set us up very nicely for spring. I'm so happy to see the nicer weather again. Oh, um, hello, hi again. I, I'm kind of in the middle of something right- can you just- I, yeah, okay. 
I hope you're all ready for year two. I'm really proud of what we've done this first year, and maybe there are things that don't always go to plan, but I think we're going to do just fine. Though if I can't figure out the issue with the tiles resetting, I'm probably going to have to bin off the idea of buying every single reachable tile before perfection. Here's a little look at that farm layout after I'd finished working on it. I feel like it's a good start, and it'll be fun to see where we're at in another year. But anyway, if you enjoyed the video, please do hit the like button, subscribe if you haven't already, thank you so much to my channel members, and I will see you in the next video. Bye!